This is the plaintiff, Brianna Lanza fame. She says the defendants lived with her, and they were the roommates from you know where. They put bleach in her shampoo bottle, and it damaged her hair. They're horrible people who didn't pay her the rent they owe. And she's here suing for the $2,000 she's due. These are the defendants, Brittany Lynn Perkins and Jordan D. Doss. Brittany says Jordan was good friends with the plaintiff, and she allowed them to live there rent-free until they got on their feet. Money wasn't an issue because the plaintiff's cousin was splitting it with her. But once he moved out, the whole deal changed, and the plaintiff started making demands for rent and utilities. That wasn't their deal. They moved out, too, owing nothing. And here they are. They're accused of being rotten renters. All parties, please use your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. All right, Brianna Lanzafame? Lanzafame. Lanzafame. You are suing Brittany Lynn Perkins and Jordan Day Doss for $2,000 in rent and utilities that you say they owe you for and refuse to pay. Tell me what happened here. Well, they moved in on March 1st, and I allowed them to move in completely rent-free. I told them they could stay with me until they got back on their feet. I what had happened that would um, necessitate that? They were kicked out of their last apartment for non-payment of rent. They had an agreement. Okay, um, so they didn't pay rent in the last place they were at. Yes, because they And so you opened your doors. Yes. Um, and then the same thing happened to you. Yes. Wow, you didn't see that coming? Um, no, I didn't because I'd known Jordan personally for probably about two years. We were good friends. We worked together. See, so did you think that it was going to be a couple of week thing? Um, originally I told them they could stay with me until they got a job and got back on their feet. So I was well, under What if it took them two years to do that? Um, well, as of April 1st, actually March 31st, they had agreed to move in and split bills. Okay. So it's one thing to move in with me rent free until you get back on your feet. And it's another thing to agree to be my roommate and pay bills. Right. And then... As of April was when they became our, my technical roommates. I didn't see any money from them in April. Um, it wasn't until after May's rent. What was, was the due. agreement? The agreement was that they would move in as active roommates, take and over. And pay how much? Um, all I we had established was that they would split bills. They well, were under and the split assumption. Bills how? Half and half? One third and two thirds? How was the split? That was under the assumption at first is that they were going to take over my ex roommate's portion of the bills and. Which would be half? Yes. Okay. And when discussed, we came to the agreement that it was going to be split in threes because there's three of us, not two. Okay. And did they agree to that? Yes. Okay. And then what happens? Um, and then in May, I finally received some payments. It was $490 total. Uh, tell me what the rent is so I can figure out the thirds. What was it supposed to be? $880 was rent. $293.33? Yes. Okay. Um, so you get some money in May, which represents April and a shortcoming because there's still more due in April. Correct. Then do you get any money again in May? No. Do you get any money in June? No. What happens in May and June? Throughout May, they were um, promising of interviews and they were looking for jobs. And I actually tried to help Brittany get a job, not one time, but twice. At the time, I was working two jobs, 80-hour weeks, to try and support the three people that were living in my house. Okay. So how, how, okay. And so they weren't paying rent, and then you asked them to leave, but they wouldn't leave. Correct. And I what have statements. What happens? Um, I have statements to them saying they would not leave. I went personally. No, but what would they say about it? Like, when you would say to them, look, I can't. I, I can't keep paying all of this money they for you. They told me they weren't leaving. They had nowhere else to go. And was it nasty? Oh, yeah. We got into screaming match after screaming match because I told them to get out of my house and they would not leave. So I went to the courts and I legally filed a three-day pay or vacate notice, and they continued to tell me that it's a legal doc an illegal document, I'm sorry, and that they would not leave because a, a ser sheriff did not serve the court papers. Okay. And then what happens? Um, approximately three days after I served a three-day pay or vacate notice, which also had the total for July's rent on it as well because I was under the assumption that the, they were not going to leave. Um, and they finally packed up and left on June 30th. Okay. After they left, did they leave you a little present? After they moved out of my house, yes. There was bleach in my shampoo two days later. How did, did you actually put the shampoo on your head? Yes, I did. There's um, photographed evidence of my face that is red and the friedness of my hair afterwards. Did you want to see those? Yeah, I do. My cheeks are red and splotchy, and the ends of my hair are completely fried. Did you smell it? Yeah, you could smell it. You, all you had to do was open the bottle. When I 
opened the bottle and put the shampoo in my hands, I started like putting it in the top of my head like you normally would to wash your hair, and immediately I started smelling bleach. I started washing it off as fast as I could. I started yelling for my girlfriend who was in the house at the time. She came in and my friends were also there and all of them agreed to smell the bleach and you could smell the ammonia as soon as you opened the bottle. They didn't What's even take the on? bottle and test it. Who wants to talk first? I can. Okay, hi. Basically in March of 2017, uh, we were leaving in a previous apartment. You were evicted from the other apartment or there was an eviction process? No, from the previous apartment? Yeah, why did you have to leave? We just decided, hey, we're just, we don't want to be here anymore. It's not healthy and... Okay, how did she find out that you needed a place to live? She posted a status on Facebook asking Okay, for and then you two were had been friends. Yes, and uh, she wrote underneath the status, hey, message me. So I messaged her and I explained to her everything and she was like, you can come live here, you know, get on your feet, get a job. I was like, are you sure? And she said, yes, I am 100% sure. I'll help you guys out. And that night, we actually moved the stuff into her apartment. OK. And then what happened? And then come April. Uh, That's a whole month later? Yes. And there's, no, and there's no end in sight. So then there's an agreement with you guys, OK, we're going to pay our share, correct? Mm -hmm. correct? What was the agreement that you had with her come April 1st? April 1st was, um, hey, my cousin's moving out or has moved out could you guys pick up her portion of rent? And we were like, yes, of course, we'll ask around, see what we can do. She had gotten her taxes and handed her a portion of rent. And then I had gotten and borrowed money from my own mother and I had given her a portion as well, equaling out to $490. Okay. And then all through the month of April, she had been going to interviews. Brie was letting her borrow the car to go back and forth. You know, we were returning bottles of cans to put gas in the car for her to borrow it, um, asking f countless amounts of friends for money, um, family members, and then... Okay, but we're talking about, so March, April... That's, that's April. May, and June. Yes, at okay. the end of... For four months, what would your days look like? Um, basically sitting, trying mm -hmm. to fill out applications, calling back places for interviews. Okay. And then by the time... At some point, your host says to you, you got to get out, you're not paying rent. Mm -hmm. And your response is what? Uh, we don't have anywhere to go if that's what you want. I mean, she basically asked us, you know, you guys really had to start pushing. We said, okay, you know, we're, we're really trying. We said it in the nicest way possible mm -hmm. that we're trying to get jobs, we're trying to help. When she told us we had to get out, it was five days before she gave us this paper mm -hmm. from the court to get out, actually, to have three days to get out. Mm -hmm. And I actually was starting work, June. I was starting work, and she had a broken foot. So she had a cast on her foot. She couldn't go to work. She had a cast. So I started working overnights, and I would get phone calls from Brittany saying that people are in the house banging on her door. Brie actually would run into the room and scream at her. I would get phone calls saying, I don't want to be here. You know, she's upset, she needs someone to stay with her at night because we're having these people in the house that are threatening us, one. They're threatening you what? Uh, punch us in the face. What, what, tell me about that, what, what, who was saying what? A girl. One of her friends. Yeah, a girl that I had previously um, lived with and rented from also was, okay. Okay, but I see, I, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm trying to understand mm -hmm. the animosity between It just you guys. got very ugly very right, fast. Right, it got very ugly very quickly because someone let you into their home mm -hmm. as a favor. Then you were to leave and you didn't. You said, don't worry, we'll get a job and we'll pay rent. Yes. And then four months pass. So you, you will forgive me if I don't see how righteous your position is. The, the, uh, the agreement to start paying in thirds for rent and utilities did not happen until May. In April, it's supposed to be half. No, in April it was, hey, can you cover Lisette, her cousin Lisette's portion? Which is half. Yeah. Yes. For and then the coming into May, she said, okay, you guys really need to focus on jobs. I can't do this all on my own. And we were very understanding. Like, she you, was Your stressed. understanding cannot be deposited in a bank account to write a check against for the landlord. Uh, we're trying, but it's four months that neither one of you can get any job, even slinging burgers. I mean, at what point does it become enough? You, now, you, you apparently um, had friends 
do the service, correct? Correct. What and you, you have a York. video of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. June 28th, 2017, we are officially serving Brittany Perkins and Jordan Day Doss with a rent demand. Here is a three day rent demand. It's three days to pay up for the taxes. There's one for you and one for Brittany. I was not grabbing it. I was told not to. I'm not getting any more involved in this than I need. Why don't you call her? Who's that, Jordan? That's Why don't you me. call her? Why don't you call her? I, don't have I swear phone. to God, one of you call her now. You all. You all. Wow, you guys sound so grateful to have been housed for four months. <laughs> Actually, she had Michaela living with her and Koya on the couch. She had both of them on the couch, so. We were like, hey, why aren't they paying anything? And before that... That's not for you to decide. Yeah, but... I mean, just get out. The answer's get out. See, you have a homelessness problem, and you made it someone else's problem. Do you get it? If you have to go to a shelter, you go to a shelter till you get back on your feet. But you made your get back on your feet her problem, and you don't have that right. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So, are people generally grateful or ungrateful when somebody does them a favor. What do you say? Be honest. Say yes, absolutely grateful. You think people are generally grateful? Yes. You believe in people? Yes. Okay, what do you say? I think they're general, generally grateful. I know I am. What do you say? <laughs> I think that they're generally grateful. I mean, they are highly appreciated if, uh, if they do something extra with it, you know, but <laughs> they're grateful. <laughs> Going inside the courtroom. So what have we got? We've got April, you concede that it was half and half. Yes. Or, you, or, you, or you say that it was half and half. Yes. And do you admit that it was half and half in April? Uh, under completely I did... different understandings, yes, because I said split the bills. They assume that meant in half. Okay. Then in May, it become, is when the, it changes to two-thirds, one-third. Yes. Um, so that would mean that for April, May, and March was a ride, a free ride. Correct. So that would mean that April, May, and June... April would be 440, and May and June would be 586, which means that the total rent that should have been paid while you were there was $1,612. You guys paid 490, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, which would leave $1,122 of rent due and owing. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, now, regarding the cable and electric. Um, the electric mostly was the only thing that varied. Um, I do have, there's one picture, it has the bill in the top right corner, it's $131. That was the most our electric ever was. And we also had the Verizon bill, which was around $150, and that was split three ways, $50 a month. Okay, do you, uh, have you submitted the bills into evidence? Um, I don't have the paper bills. Um, anything that I do have is submitted into evidence. Okay, so what did you submit into evidence to buttress your claim on the bills? Um, there's a photo of the written statement that I wrote out for each person to pay bills that we had posted on the refrigerator. So it's going to be the middle picture. Okay, can I, but I need a whole bill because I need to make sure there's not a balance from a prior month. You understand? Okay, yes, I don't have the paper bills. I okay. could not get them. Did you guys ever see a cable and electric bill? Yes, and it was past due. It was the past due. Okay, well, bills. that's easy. We're going to find out what that is. I'm just okay. going to reserve on those two until you provide a complete bill so that I can give you, I'm reserving on those so that I can award you the appropriate amount. You can't just come to court with a picture of the total. Um, and I'm only doing that because I really think you got put in a really bad position. Mm -hmm. Because normally I'd say, hey, bring your evidence to court and we just move on, all right? And as for the rent, if 1612 was owed and 490 got paid, I am finding you jointly and severally liable for the 1,122 plus whatever of the utilities you are able to prove up. That is my verdict. And of course, that would include your court costs in having to come to court and sue them, okay? So the plaintiff doesn't get the full 2,000 she was seeking, but the final amount still be determined. You know, in the beginning, you were described as the roommates from you know where. <laughs> I'm telling you, after hearing the case, you do sound like that. Unfortunately, it's it sucks, but 
that's the way people paint you, and it's, it sticks, so it's hard. Yeah, but, I mean, she asked you to leave, and you wouldn't go. I mean, golly, what does it take to get you out? Uh, basically, a court paper with signed papers that gets us out. That's kind of <laughs> terrible. It you is. Know? We I mean, did leave. It got hostile to the point where we didn't even feel comfortable, so we yeah. did leave. I mean, are you like a team where yeah. you go, she goes, yeah. a couple? My partner. We're, yeah. we're together. partners. Yep. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let me ask you, who put the bleach in her shampoo? Neither of us. We, oh, we packed our One stuff and we left. Oh, no. We packed our stuff and we left Friday morning. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Be on your way. Glad you weren't my roommate. <laughs> Here comes Miss Lanza Frame. All right. <laughs> I'm sure you're relieved. They're gone, right? Thankfully, yes. Thank goodness. Yeah. Okay. Well, you understand you need more documentation to get everything yeah, you, you definitely. think you do. And they'll figure that out. But anyway, you know, I think everybody's relieved for you. Yeah, I hope so. I think they are. <laughs> I think we all are. All right. Congratulations. Thanks very much. Thank you. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Harvey, what do you think? Okay, Doug, real quick, when you move in with somebody, you gotta be super specific as to who's paying what. And I'm not just talking rent, I'm talking utilities, food, everything, or else you're in for a disaster.